Guys, this is uh, Book Talk with Corbin, and I am your host. Today, I just wanted to quickly, briefly introduce you to a book that really astounded me. This is a book called, the title, P-O-R-T-I-A, Portia. It's written by Ruth Ann Stewart. It was published in 1977, and it's a book on Booker T. Washington's first child and only daughter. And at first I thought, well, what could she have to say? Man, she's got a lot to say. This is a good book. Um, The history is very, very important. I have not finished it, so I'm not going to talk much about the book. I am just wanted to put this out there to say, you need to read this. You need to pick this up. It amazes me how much, so much, of the history of certain people have been suppressed. These modern-day black studies, African-American studies, Afro-American studies, Pan-African studies departments, you know, from the 1960s up, they have done uh, a disgustingly successful job in suppressing information about certain people. And one of them is Booker T. Washington. Um, He was a brilliant man, absolutely brilliant man. A lot of what Booker T. Washington taught and preached, I guess you might say, and advocated, still relevant to today, and not just to the black community, but to the American nation, period. And then you can see that um, legacy, I guess you might say, pass on to Portia, and she she just did a fantastic job in upholding and protecting and honoring her father's legacy. This is a great book. You need to check it out. You need to learn more Um, about her. You need to do everything you can to learn more about her. Also, I wanted to comment about Booker T. Washington, Up From Slavery. That's a classic, classic uh, autobiography. Um, And again, a lot of what he has to say is relevant to today. And I think that's why the man was so successful and that he really dealt with principles. And he wasn't, uh, he didn't go off into this crazy anti-Americanism like some of his so-called rivals, uh, Dr. Booker T. Washington. Now, let me say something. There's, you know, people always talk about this rivalry, alleged rivalry between Dr. Uh, W.E.B. Du Bois, the author of The Soul of Black Folk, and uh, Booker T. Washington, as you know, the author of Up From Slavery. There was no rivalry. Booker T. Washington towered over Dr. Uh, Du Bois. He towered over him. And let me just uh, prove that by asking one simple question. Where's Du Bois' uh, university or college? Where's it at? Show it to me. All right, case closed. His his um, Booker T's other writings are, you know, his other books have sort of been hidden. You know, you you rarely, if ever, hear about these books and these black studies programs. That's because he's not some anti-American, I hate America, I hate white people type of person. Uh, Booker T, I mean W. Du Bois, as you know, uh, relinquished his U.S. citizenship. He gave it up. He joined the Communist Party USA, joined the Communist Party USA. I think his general secretary at the time of the Communist Party was Gus Hall. They have that article on on record, I mean the letter on record. Uh, The Communist Party USA is very proud of it. Uh, Du Bois left the United States and he went to Ghana and he died in Ghana. Booker T. Washington was never a, a communist, a Marxist. He didn't stand for that nonsense. Um, he was a proud U.S. citizen. He, he stayed in the United States. He built his schools in the United States. He helped black businesses um, all throughout the United States. And he he uh, helped uh, a lot of black folk, male and female, get jobs, get employment, etc. And he died right here in the United States. So there was no, there was no rivalry between those two. I mean, Booker T. Washington towered over... Um, W. Du Bois. I mean, he was, there's just, there's no competition there. They named uh, streets after Booker T, schools, even had a stamp. Sometimes makes you wonder why 
there was never a concerted effort to create a Booker T. Washington holiday. Now I'm going to say something rather controversial here. Just follow me very carefully. We never had a national holiday named after a private citizen. Up until it was done for Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Why him? Why him? As if somehow or another you're, you're, you're going to sit there and tell me black folk weren't fighting for full citizenship rights, uh, voting rights, property rights, etc. before Dr. King. He was the first guy to come along and do it. Are you going to sit there and tell me he was the most successful person? I'm going to tell you. The answer to both questions is no. You really need to take a more critical view as to well, why King over someone like Booker T or Frederick Douglass. Mate, two, two, I mean, Booker T was just phenomenal. His accomplishments, not his rhetoric, not his speeches. He gave great, I mean, he gave great speeches, but his accomplishments, his concrete accomplishments, and they don't compare. King Jr., he, he didn't, there's no comparison. Du Bois, there's no comparison. You know, the results are there. They're recorded, they're documented. Booker T was amazing. So why King Jr. over Booker T? Now, I have my opinion. I'm wondering if I'm wondering what your opinion is. And then secondly, why a private citizen? I mean, you, you're going to sit there and tell me there weren't other great Americans, black or white, who before King Jr., who didn't deserve a holiday? Really? You're going to make that argument? Ellen Keller? Clara Barton? You going to make that argument? Okay. So, you know, I just wanted to, uh, really just wanted to say more about Portia, the the first child and, and daughter, uh, only daughter of uh, the great, the legendary Booker T. Washington. Get that book and read that book. Um, get that book and read about that book. It, it's it's going to open your eyes to a lot of things. Trust me. Is Book Talk with Corbin. I'm your host. Hey, I also have a Facebook page. Please go to Facebook, Book Talk with Corbin, and, you know, follow. And uh, there's a lot of our podcasts are, are posted there, too. Uh, 